I am in the cage. I think that's what people need to understand. Um, as soon as I step foot in the cage, I'm like a different person. Um, I'm obviously quite aggressive and a bit crazy in the cage, but when I come out, I'm quite a soft person, quite emotional. <laughs> but um, And I'm very girly, I would say, as well. All right, let's check out the keys to victory here for this fight. For Dakota, she needs to keep Jabber on the outside, also needs to mix up her striking combinations. And for Hasna, she needs to get off to a fast start and utilize that clinch fight. Here's our tale of the tape. Brought to you by Bud Light. Hasna Yaver is 12 years older than Dakota Dicheva. Dicheva is three inches taller, has an 11 inch reach on the arms but only a one inch reach advantage on the legs. Andy Shepard, take it away. The following is a 2023 PFL Europe qualifying contest in the women's flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She is a kickboxing specialist standing five feet five inches tall. She went in officially at 125 pounds and holds a professional record of four wins and a single defeat. Fighting out of Rabat, Morocco, Fis Hasna Gibba! And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She's a Muay Thai specialist and stands five feet eight inches tall. She weighed in officially at 126 pounds and holds a professional record of five victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Manchester, England, Dakota Dicheva. That's where Dakota Dicheva's world championship pedigree comes from. Her mother, the former world champion kickboxer. The referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Stay back. Rich Mitchell to oversee the action for this PFL Europe qualifier. Dakota Dicheva. Ready. In the maroon. Ready. Let's go. Hasna in the gray. No touch at the gloves. We are underway at 125 pounds. Dicheva switching stances. Slips outside of the range of Hasna Jaber and slaps her with a jab. Hasna throwing some serious bombs, overhand shots. Dicheva utilizing that long range with her kicks, keeping her on the outside. Nice slip and rip there from Dakota. Push kick drops, has the Jaber, and then the right hand after it. Nice job at Dakota, keeping that underhook shallow, using that elbow to frame her out and keep distance where she can create some space and let her hands go in this clinch range. Yeah, they're looking out of her element here. She's hurt to the body. That's it. The end of the fight. Rich Mitchell waves it off the knee. Yeah, there are some brutal knees that she took early 